Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are um, reviewing and checking the Fujitsu LifeBook AH530. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, sorry, my camera is on ultra wide. I think the picture quality might be great at all, or um, you might see everything too wide so i'm sorry about that i have a small space to be honest yeah uh so let's open the laptop first and let's bring the phone down i need to just do some measurements here all right and yeah you can see the glare here and here should be fixed and yeah that's on the touch right? so let me fix the fix here right now and yeah i think this works yeah yeah i uh did something that i have two operating systems here i'm just gonna go with the windows 11. i was recording a video before this uh, video but um it appeared uh, that my phone storage was full and so i needed to delete some videos in order to save the edited version of that video so uh, that video is deleted and it keeps saying you need i we will bring the video from icloud and stuff but that doesn't work to be honest i think this is zoom into a display right here something good for you guys to see Oh, that's great, I think. The light here. Let's test without the light on. Mm. Actually, it was better with the light on, to be honest. Yeah, the light here is like a spotlight thing. And it works. But when we have the display on, then the light is useless yeah so um this is the windows 11 operating system i was gonna down download some linux but uh it appeared it appeared we had some problems it was a lot of journey my friends it, it was a it was a whole how should i say it was a whole disaster it was a whole disaster I downloaded Linux, it didn't work. Um, I downloaded Windows Server 2022, I wanted to check it out. It did nothing, it had a lot of bugs and errors. I Then I decided to just teach you guys how to um, have two operating systems on this computer, on a computer, and now uh, that video is deleted too, so um, maybe I need to find another time to record that video. For now, let's just review the uh, computer itself. The computer was... Uh, you, you, uh, it used to have Windows 7 or older versions of Windows. I don't know. Something like Windows Vista or Windows 7. Uh, uh, from the time that I remember, it had a it had a Windows Seven on it, as you can see by the key. Uh, these are some stickers. It's in Persian and English. This is the computer itself. It's a bit old and rusty. That's the power button. Speakers. The speakers are changed. This computer is customized. Uh, it has a Core i three cpu we changed that i think the 10th generation it has 80 gigabytes of ram which had four it ha uh, it has 256 gigabytes of ssd which it didn't used to have and 300 giga uh, no 200 gigabytes of ssd uh, hdd ssd is solid stra uh, state drive which is faster in my opinion and HDD, I think it's hard disk drive, and yeah. 
and we have an information bar there as you can see that's for the power i don't know what that is this is for the battery this is for the pss. i don't know like the computer is working because whenever i was experiencing some issues with the computer or the computer was laggy or it was stuck or freezing this icon over here was stop flashing that's the number lock and the caps lock this is the touch pad it's really small it's not a precision precise precision touch pad you cannot zoom in or out with it uh, it's an old computer i think it was made in the uh, late 2005 or 2007 or 8 i don't know but it's really old but it's you can customize it and it will work like a charm the body it's so strong the display good quality actually it tries to have a good quality uh, and the resolution kind of it's good yeah and it handles everything but the shape is a bit old but that's awesome because it's so strong now let's uh, turn the lid down and let the computer to go in sleep mode and let's return turn back that computer okay let me fix the tripod again yeah we might experiencing some of these freak shows too on this new table here yeah actually it's better than the bookshelf so yeah i'm glad that we have this set up here right now all right we need the light yeah the light all right never mind i'm just gonna open the tripod completely all right the lights yeah this is the battery the battery has been changed this is the ram access that's the components and the cpu as you can see this is the label for the computer devices change and that's the battery which doesn't have anything to open that one that one seems to be broken but it's open this one seems to be working yeah this computer uh it was working like a charm and it's still working better than the old time Over, yeah better than the last time it has a cd drive but now we don't have any cd drives in here only the hard disk drive and the solid state drive that i don't know where it is let's unplug the battery here and see the specifications right there yes we have it let me open the battery on my knees i'm so sorry you you may not see the this part So, uh, I'm suspecting an issue right here. Uh, let's zoom there. Let's go there, actually. Yeah. Let's go there. Yeah, I'm suspecting an issue. I think this might be... It was falling. This might be closed here. So, pull. Okay, is it open? Just make it worse. It 
seems to be working, but I suspect that the battery is stuck over there. Yeah, so we can't see the battery. Let's see the specifications on the back. Let me, let me fix the camera. I'm so sorry about this. Alright, you can take a screenshot if you want. Great. And uh, let's zoom back. Alright. Let's turn on the computer again. It has a headset jack, microphone jack, uh, headphone jack actually, I think. And uh, it has a SD card tray. Uh, two USBs and a lock. I never understood what does the lock thing do here it seems like a usb type c that's the charger charging port this, this is the lock again and here we have some ports like the two other usbs and the hdmi the fan and the lan and the uh, the yeah, I think LAN. And the... Uh, mm, I don't know what that port name is. Display port is for the other computers that they have graphic cards or from the, uh, for the newer computers. I think that's a PC port. Yeah, PC port. Sorry, I forgot the name. I've worked with this PC what's before yeah, really uh, annoying these days when we have hdmi why shall we use the pc ports yeah i'm realizing something and that's uh that my phone is charging and the charger keeps pulling the phone down so my phone might keep falling that's annoying so let's open you and let's do this. I'm sorry for the freak show in this video. Please accept my apology. And uh, let's see what the. Alright, alright. I think that's. Right. We will test the Windows 10 too. So there is time for the, all of the operating systems. So let's see the device specifications. Uh, we go and press the start button. I don't know where the, yeah, here is the pointer. We go to settings and then we go to about your pc yeah it has a core i3 cpu 4 gigabytes of ram it has 8 gigabytes i don't know why oh maybe because we have two operating systems uh and uh, 64 bits of the rating system and you can see the lcd pixels right here that's cool yeah lcd is kind of visible to human eye so let's go to the windows 10 we will start the computer if you guys have a windows 7 and you guys want to update i think windows 10 is a great option for you it's easy to use and stuff it's better than all of the windows softwares 
uh, and I read some uh, read something about the Windows that Windows 7 and the Windows 10 are the best on the market right now. They are easy to use and great. Uh, I have a Windows 7 for my older computers and I use Windows 10 for my newer computers and Windows 11. Yeah. Actually, I downloaded the Windows 11 out of curiosity. So, to see what is happening there. Not much, they just removed the virtual assistant on the Windows 10. Yeah. Uh, this is taking a while to restart, so I'm just gonna press the power button. I know it's bad. But I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, maybe later I could record with my camera if I find the battery charger. As you can see, this is the Windows 10 logo, and the default uh, s uh, startup option is for the Windows 10. Yeah, this is an older version of the Windows 10. It's 1703. Now we have Windows 7 21 H2, if I'm not wrong, and that version is a Mm. It, it's not great at all the 1703 it's the best if somebody needed the uh, files maybe I could just give them well, yeah, some applications maybe yeah but you could just find on ebay or maybe buy a Windows 10 if you want to upgrade your PC yeah this is the logging in screen of the Windows 10. Yeah, so this is the Windows 10 right here. The version 1703. Uh, it's really easy to use. It has the microphone search button here. And let's see the specifications in here too. That's the start menu. Yeah, I search about your PC. Yeah, Windows 10. And everything is here. Yeah. Alright. That's great. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day or night. Goodbye.